In this video, we will talk about 2020 quarters worth money right after this. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box. And an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Got coins? JB Coins Inc. on YouTube. Daily videos and free giveaways. Join us today. Hey YouTubers, this is J and B from JB Coins Inc. And in this video, we'll talk about 2020 quarters worth money, error quarters, as well as regular non-error coins. If you like this topic or any topic related to coins and currency, please consider subscribing so we can help grow your numismatic knowledge while you help us grow our channel. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. We greatly appreciate all of you. Now going back to our video, just as a reminder, in 2020, the U.S. struck five different quarter designs. The National Park of American Samoa, Weir Farm National Historic Site in Connecticut, Salt River Bay National Historic Park and Ecological Preserve in the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historic Park in Vermont, as well as the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve in Kansas. The regular quarters were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. They bear a P Mint mark, and the Denver Mint will bear a D Mint mark, and the San Francisco Mint will bear a S Mint mark. The San Francisco Mint also struck the proof coins in a glossy finish in clad and silver composition. Now, the West Point Mint struck very special quarters that year with the W Mint mark and a privy mark on the obverse in the field in front of George Washington's portrait above the inscription Liberty. The privy mark is designed with V75 to commemorate and recognize the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II, making this quarter even more desirable. They are also considered a regular struck coin, circulation strike. They were released into circulation and from day one are bringing a premium. We have videos dedicated to them, so please follow the link at the end of this one. Unlike the Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco mints, these quarters were never sold by the U.S. Mint so you need to look for them in circulation. And now, let's look at some awesome quarters and their values. All sales are from this year, and coins are not necessarily in the best known grades, but the point of this video is to see what they are currently worth. By the way, when looking for a coin's value, always check the most recent sold prices, not the auction records or books, like Red Book, for example, printed years ago. The first quarter presented in this video is a 2020S American Samoa quarter called the Bat Quarter. It's a regular strike and in grade MS67, it sold in October of this year for $295. The 2020 W quarter received an MS67 grade and it sold at auction for $159 in March of this year. Another W quarter from this year in the same grade, MS67, this time the Weir Farm quarter, sold for the same money, $159, at the Heritage Auction in January of this year. Now moving on to another quarter from this year, the only 2020 W Salt River Bay quarter to grade MS68, sold in January of this year for almost $6,000. And now, look at some cool errors sold this year. This 2020 Salt River Bay Quarter is struck through a retained copper wire. It received an MS64 grade and it sold at Heritage Auctions in October of this year for $564. The next quarter sold also at Heritage Auctions in July of this year. It is also a struck through error. It's a 2020P American Samoa Quarter and it received a grade of MS62 and it sold for $228. And the last error is this 2020D Salt Bay Quarter, obverse, struck through retained metal. It received an MS65 grade 
and it sold in October of this year for $180. What great prices for these newer quarters. It looks like the structure error is very common for this year, so look for them as well as the coins in better condition. For many of the MS67 grades, it's the highest, so there's definitely room to go higher. And we have a question for you. Do you have any of the 2020 W Porters? Please let us know in the comment section below. And also, please watch our video about the W Porters linked in the upper corner of this one. We also would like to say thank you to all of our JB Coins Inc. members. If you'd like to become a JB Coins Inc. family member, please follow the link below this video. We greatly appreciate it. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.